can we be done? Can you hear me? You have to come quick. He's here. Who's here? Who is this? It's Daria. From the crime scene. Do you remember? I'm at home. It's part to cross from yours. Please, hurry. I need you one thing. Are you still there? Daria. My Interpol friend, it's dangerous for you to be out in the street tonight. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Oh, the killer is still out there. More victims have turned up. All of them Augs, all harvested. Just like Angela Gunn. So it's the same person doing all this, and we still have no idea who that is. I'm not sure where all this is going, but I've been looking at old case notes, and it's uncanny. Marek Svobodka, the old harvester, is supposed to be dead, yet this killer seems to... Little habits that were never made public. I even called the cemetery just to make sure Svobodka's still dead. And? He's dead. That doesn't explain what you're doing here. It's still my case, isn't it? And it's still open. I was hoping that maybe Daria suddenly remembered something. And what about you? You know very well that your Interpol ID doesn't mean shit tonight. Hell, I should be arresting you right now. Daria called me. She said she was in trouble. She said he was here. Then she got cut off. Is she in there? I wouldn't know. I knocked and no one answered. I've been... worried about her. So... she called you, huh? Do you know how she feels about cops? Right. Look, you're not supposed to be outside tonight. I'll take a look around the building. You? See if you can find a way inside. Hopefully we're not too late. Just try not to get caught, eh? I won't. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Was it powdered? Waiting for no look. Just 
What are you doing here? It's after curfew. It's dangerous. Serial killers are dangerous. Curfews are just inconvenient. I beg your pardon? Daria Mishka, ring a bell. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I I'm not at liberty to divulge anyone's personal information. I don't have much time, so you need to start talking fast. Daria's in grave danger. That's if she's even still alive. If there's something I need to know about her... Trust me. There's no hurry. The further men like you stay away from Daria, the better it is for everyone. You should forget it. Why men like me? Look, I know about the email you sent her. I know you performed some kind of surgery. Why was it so important for Daria to meet you here? I used to know Daria. She was a patient of mine. Your patient? You mean here at the drugstore? No, of course not. Before that, when I used to work for Tai Young Medical, big tech corporation. You know it? Enough to know I don't like where this is going. I headed a project. The cutting edge of neural science and cellular memory replacement. We dealt with people suffering from severe social disorders. We were making people better by making them better people. How exactly did you make people better? We found a way to isolate specific character traits. The idea was to use neural implants with imprints of desirable traits from select individuals and insert them into others who were, how should I say, less gifted. Take a man like yourself, for example. Could have given you a sense of humor. I'm funny enough as it is. Now how about you tell me what went wrong? Something obviously did. We were trying to help people. Imagine what it would mean if we succeeded. Anxiety, gone. Apathy, gone. Depression, gone. Diversity, gone. Spontaneity, gone. Individuality, gone. But you probably left that part out of your sales pitch. I... Daria is responsible for what Daria does. The only reason Tai Young forced me to get involved is because so much is at stake for them. Big brand name to protect. I've met their lawyers, men whose briefcases are filled with broken teeth. You must understand. I've been very patient so far. Too patient. That's about to change unless you start getting into details. What are you not telling me? Look, I haven't had anything to do with this for years. Tai Young Medical contacted me and told me it was my responsibility because Daria was my patient. They implied that if Daria's story ever came to light, I would take all the blame. So you're in this out of the goodness of your heart. What else? My job was to address people's deficiencies by integrating donor personality packages. That meant we needed lots of confident volunteers to donate time to our project. As you can imagine, people weren't exactly lining up to have a scrape inside their heads. So Tai Young had to diversify. Once again, not sure I like where this is going. Tai Young Medical cut a deal with various penitentiaries. Prisoners who took part in our programs, they got granted little perks, bigger cells, running water. The prisons, they benefited from facility upgrades. It was a win-win. You implanted the personality traits of prisoners into the mentally unstable? Smart. Let me take a wild guess. Daria's donor was Marek Svobodka, better known as the Harvester. Donor number 698843. All I saw, all I was given, was a series of test scores that showed a perfect match. Everything she was missing, he had. Nothing else mattered at the time.
Your test subject's been murdering people all over Prague. Maybe you'll be next. What? She, she didn't actually mention me, did she? Is that all you care about? Your own skin? It's not all I care about, but it's a very high priority. Then let's put it this way. She's not the only one you need to be scared of right now. All right. Look. We obviously want the same thing here. Daria has a neural chip installed just above the hairline. She won't let you get anywhere near it. So if you're serious about putting an end to this, you'll have to... you know... What, kill her? That would be my preference, yes. Or I suppose you could just incapacitate her, but then you run the risk of having her wake up. Not a risk I would take personally. I know there's a keyword that can shut down the chip. I read about it in your notes. Why would you try to keep that from me? Because I knew you would overestimate what it could do. You're a fool if you think you can just walk up to a killer and say a magic word. It won't undo what she's become. The decision to act on Svobodka's memories, to repeat them, that was all Daria. Simply shutting down the chip at this point will not be sufficient. That's for me to decide. What's the override phrase? Ad hominem 2026. But I warn you, do not turn your back on her. And do not underestimate her responsibility in all of this. We all have terrible nightmares. We all have visions of sick and terrible things we could do. But we don't all act on them. You must be careful around her. I want a lawyer. my qualifications why do you have to be like that, huh? Thank God. I knew you'd find me. We must hurry, before he comes back. Before who comes back? The man who killed Angela Gunn? Yes. He knows you're after him. He wanted you to come. You can drop the act, Daria. I know what's going on here. I know there's no one else out there. I ran into an old friend of yours. The name Cipro mean anything to you? You mean, Dr. Cipro? Where did you dig him up? He's worried about you. He's worried about himself. He's worried about Taeyong Medical. They're willing to kill to cover things up, to preserve their precious image. Their reasons are savage compared to mine. I don't believe this is who you are. Something changed in you after Cypress surgery. Made you do things you would never have done otherwise. For reasons that aren't your own. But it's not too late. Don't be so naive. I am who I've always been. Cypress surgery, all it did was give me access to another man's technique. His courage to follow through. I can still help you. Ad hominem 2026.
Is... Is... <clears throat> what did you do? Is... Is that how machines spray? Listen to me. The neural chip that Dr. Sipper installed in you is in the process of shutting down. Try to focus. This version of you that's been hurting people. I don't believe that was really you. Then... Then you don't know me very well. Why? Why should this change anything? The procedure gave me access to memory banks that weren't my own. The choice to draw on those memories was mine alone. You... You... You can't take them from me. The shutdown process may take some time. There may be lingering effects. But that doesn't mean it's too late to help you. <laughs> you really believe that, don't you? All right. Pr prove it. Approach me. Come. Closer. Save me from all those horrible things Dr. Sipra did. There's nothing to be scared of, right? Surely whatever trace of the har harvester was inside me is gone now that you've said the magic word. You obviously need more help than I can offer. But that doesn't mean it's not out there. Whatever power the neural chip had over you should be diminishing now. You should be able to fight whatever urges Svoboka's memories inspired in you. I... I don't need help. You do. You need to be sa sa saved. All Ogs need to be saved. Svobodka inspired me to... to... I can make you human again. I have to make you human again to atone for what I am. This notion you got that augmented people need saving. That there's something less than human. Look, I didn't know her, but I guarantee you Angela Gunn was a human being. Her humanity was defined by her ideas, her passions, the causes she believed in. It had nothing to do with whether or not she was augmented. Svobodka never saw them as individuals. To him, they were victims of an age that terrified him. Mirror images of the monster he had become. He believed the entire race was under attack, that mechanization would keep our souls from migrating. How does that sound like to you when you say it? Migration of the soul? Victims of an age? I'm not talking abstract concepts here. I'm talking about people. Svobodka never saw his victims as human beings because it would have made it impossible to do what he did. He was sick. He was scared. Whatever he was, he was no savior. You're right. The more he killed, the easier it became. That is why he had to repeat the actions, ritualize them. It was a way of justifying his beliefs. If you kill one man, the memory is like an anvil. If you kill seven, you quickly forget the first. It all starts to seem inevitable. Surely it must be obvious to you by now. The Daria you came here to save no longer exists. She hasn't for a long time. All that remains now is his drive, his legacy, his cause. Fabotka didn't have a cause. He was a serial killer, acting out on impulses that he tried to couch in spiritual rhetoric. A way of convincing himself that his actions were justified, but they weren't. No amount of faith or abstraction makes it okay to dehumanize people the way he did. No. No, it doesn't. But so what if you're right? So what that Svobodka's motivations cannot stand up to scrutiny? His actions, my actions, cannot be justified. Where does that leave me? If those others did not deserve to die, then I deserve to die. It's not for me to judge you. I want smarter people than me to look into this neural procedure you underwent. Dig into Sipra and Tai Young. So you're offering me a fair trial? I'm not offering anything. But if there's any hope of moving on here, not killing anyone else is a good start. Society has every right to judge you, and it also has a right to hear all about Sipra and Tai Young Medical. I'm not an expert on extenuating circumstances, but I'd say you have an interesting case. You were right before about the override process taking time. 
I can feel him receding. Memories of, of memories no longer crashing against me like they did. Let me prove it to you. Come closer. I want at least one person to know that I'm no longer what I was. All right, Daria, we need to get you out of here for real now. This needs to end. The version of me who did those things to Angela, I, I cannot even imagine it being me, even though I, I know it was. Whatever happens now, whatever the authorities decide, I hope you believe me. What's going on here? What the hell am I interrupting? Detective Montag. Daria's got a story to tell you. How you react may have something to do with your thoughts on experimental neural therapies and big medical conglomerates. I don't understand. Where is the harvester? I, I want to turn myself in. One of you really needs to start explaining. I want to confess to the killings of Angela Gunn, Misha Voracek, Pavel Klima, and Leonie Wolf. I also need to tell you about the neural procedure I underwent. It involves Tai Yong Medical and a man named Dr. Nicholas Sipra. I hope you'll listen. You can handle this from here. Just listen carefully to what she has to say. All right, Daria. I think you should start at the beginning. Two years ago, I signed up for a program sponsored by Tai Young Medical. They said they could help people to become better versions of themselves. It all feels so long ago now. Another lifetime. I suggest you remember everything you possibly can about this procedure you underwent. Who was involved, when it happened. I'm, I'm not that person anymore, I swear to you. Take your time. For now, nothing's going to happen until I get the full story. Turning myself in is for the best. I know that now. It's like trying to remember another version of myself. I can recall the actions, but the impulses that led to them, they feel so foreign. Ankle. Come closer. You must help me escape. Not a chance. I know what you are. I came here to take down a killer, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's over now. It all makes sense now. Lingering by the crime scene, creeping around Daria's apartment. I should have seen it sooner. This isn't what you think, Montag. You killed her because she figured out who you really are. Daria's unconscious. She'll be fine. Your real problem is going to be figuring out what to do with her when she wakes up. I made the mistake of letting you in on this case. Of giving you access to her. 
No more lies. Are you going to confess to what you are or not? The area was already like this when I got here. Whoever attacked her must still be around. I never would have thought that you could lie to me so blatantly. Of course, I never would have thought you were a serial killer either. I can't believe I trusted you. You can still trust me, Monte. Bullshit! You just want me to turn my back. I know there's no one else down here, and I know she wasn't like this when you got here. And now, I have every reason to believe you're the killer I've been looking for. Chang, you able to see my coordinates? Give me a sec. What's this about? There are two unconscious people down here. A woman named Daria. She was involved in those harvester killings. She needs to be taken in. There's also a comp. Jesus, Jensen! What is it you think I'd do? I'm cyber crimes, remember? I'm asking because I trust you. Got enough to worry about with the curfew. All right, but do me a favor and get out of there. And don't mention this to anyone, not even me. Chang's got this. This neural chip I removed contains all the answers you need. Daria had it installed as part of a Tai Young medical experiment two years ago. An experiment? Uh, what kind of experiment? Tai Young was farming neural code from incarcerated volunteers. This chip she had installed was called a confidence package. It was supposed to, I don't know, help her get up in the morning, help her communicate better. But obviously it affected a lot more than that. Uh, you're trying to confuse me. You just want me to let you go. I'm giving you the only piece of evidence that can make any sense out of what's been happening. All the information is there. You'll find that Dario was part of this experiment. You'll find that the neural code in this chip traces back to the original Harvester. There's a former Tai Young employee in town named Nicholas Cipra. Press him on it. He'll fill in the blanks. Uh, and in exchange for this evidence, you get to walk out of here like nothing happened. That's the idea. Right. If what you're saying is true, and this does all lead back to Tai Young, then you're gonna have your hands full. Assuming you want to keep digging into this. I don't. But... I think I have no choice. This damn case has been like dead skin. I can't stop scratching. I suppose I have you to thank for that. 